The magnetic pellet alignment overclock for the engineer shotgun is easily one of my favorite overclocks inside of the entire game. I've always preferred using the shotgun inside of missions for their close range effectiveness and high per shot damage. However, the magnetic pellet alignment overclock takes this weapon's usability and bumps it to the next level, especially for the higher hazard missions and deep dives. So today I want to take some time and cover the details of this overclock, its benefits and drawbacks, as well as quickly go over a general use build that I use to make this overclock pair well with the weapon for overall usability inside of the game. This video is timestamped, so if you're looking to skip right to the build or another part of the video, then please feel free to use the chapters below. With that out of our way, let's start by talking about the details of the magnetic pellet alignment overclock and how it affects the Warthog shotgun. The magnetic pellet alignment is a balanced overclock, which provides the benefits of 0.5 times or 50% base spread, a plus 30% bonus to weak point damage, with the only drawback being a 0.75 times or minus 25% fire rate. Overall, I feel that the benefits that the Magnetic Pellet Alignment Overclock provides far outweigh its drawbacks. Starting off is the 05 times space spread, which effectively means that the overall spread of the projectiles from the shotgun is cut in half. This, in turn, provides a lot better accuracy and more pellets hitting a smaller area. And since the shotgun is a damage per pellet weapon, this means that, effectively, the base spread decrease almost directly translates into more damage. Next, the plus 30% weak point damage bonus actually does translate into more damage, if you're able to hit the enemy's weak point. I'll talk about the mods that I use more in detail here in a few moments, but I feel like this weak point damage bonus pairs great with the loaded shells mod, which adds additional pellets per shot. I would like to give you guys an example on why I feel this way. Let's say that you're using the Loaded Shells mod, which increases the pellet count to 10, with 8 damage per pellet for a total of 80 damage, assuming all 10 pellets hit your enemy. And, for example, you fire your weapon and hit this Glyphid Grunt in the weak point with all 10 pellets. This means that apart from the 80 damage that already comes from the weapon, there is also a plus 30% bonus damage inflicted, which brings the damage all the way up to 104 which is definitely nothing to disregard from a single-shot weapon. I know that this example is based off an ideal situation, but I hope that it highlights why the increased projectiles pair well with the bonus to weak point damage. Finally, the minus 25% fire rate is a small inconvenience, especially when trying to rapid-fire shells up close to clear out enemies. But with the right mods, we can completely remove this restriction, and even improve the fire rate slightly from the baseline. I personally feel that having at least a moderate maximum fire rate is important for the shotgun because of how close range everything is. Being able to pop off a lot of shots in quick succession is a good quality to have for those close quarter engagements. So now that we've talked about what the magnetic pellet alignment overclock does, as well as its benefits and downsides, let's talk about builds. Like I mentioned previously, I'm going to show you the build that I usually run while using the magnetic pellet alignment. I usually go for high single target damage, however, feel free to change this build to whatever suits your playstyle, and hopefully this gives you some ideas. I'm going to move out of chronological order here, and talk about mods number 1 and 5 first, both of which I choose to use the increase fire rate. Having both of the fire rate mods applied completely removes the negative aspect of the magnetic pellet alignment overclock. Also, as I mentioned earlier, I feel like having increased fire rate is important in close quarter engagements, like the shotgun is built for. If fire rate isn't a huge concern, however, then you could move slot 1 to have increased magazine size, which adds 2 shells to the magazine, which should help a little bit in fights. For the second mod slot, I usually switch between the loaded shells mod and the expanded ammo bags mod. Like I mentioned earlier, the loaded shells mod adds 2 more pellets per shot, and can increase the overall damage quite a bit, taking the weak point damage bonus into consideration. The only downside to selecting this is that the total ammo capacity is very low, at 90 total shells. 
I constantly run out of ammo when using this class. So unless it's a game mode where I could really use the extra damage over ammo capacity, such as fighting Dreadnoughts, I tend to run the expanded ammo bags for more total ammo. I'm sure that there are people out there who can conserve ammo a lot better than I can, as well as having a good secondary crowd control build can limit ammo usage on the shotgun. Like I mentioned, this is just what I do. Having the loaded shells mod is a really good option if you don't have any issues with ammo. For the third mod slot, I use the high capacity magazine mod, which adds two more shells into the magazine. If you've changed slot one to also have the high capacity magazine mod, then the magazine can max out at a total of 10. Otherwise, having the high capacity magazine mod on only slot three will bump the magazine capacity to eight. I honestly think that any one of the mods on slot three will work fine, all up to personal preference. The other two mods slightly increase the reload speed or decrease recoil respectively. I personally don't have issues with maintaining the recoil, however, the recoil dampener mod would be a great option for people who do. Finally, mod slot four might seem like a bit of a strange choice, but I'll explain my reasoning. I decided to choose the increased damage from seven to eight rather than having the armor breaking module installed. The main reason why I chose this is because of the weak point damage bonus. I try to maximize the effective usefulness of the weak point bonus while using this overclock. While the armor breaking module is helpful for dealing with enemies outside of their aiming for their weak points, having the extra base damage as well as the extra damage for the weak point bonus, in my opinion, is more useful for what I'm trying to do. Like I mentioned before, I feel like the highlight of this class is adding the weak point damage bonus, and I feel that having the extra damage, especially when combined with the loaded shells mod, is a small step to making it as useful as possible. But that's all I have for you guys on the magnetic pellet alignment overclock. Overall, I think that this overclock is very useful, especially trying to plan a build for DPS on a single target, such as a dreadnought. Thank you guys for stopping by and watching. Do you guys like this overclock? If so, could you share your feedback with how you personally use it in the comments below? Thanks again for watching, and I hope you have a great day. Pipeline's operational again. You're doing fine. Pump sequence at 25%. Liquid Morkite is flowing to the refinery like honey. I was born we got company. Incoming swarm approaching you.